Well, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I'm going to start a new video and it's going to be a cold wax. It's going to be a, an uh, abstracted landscape and I'm not looking at a photo. I'm just going to try to do it intuitively and I'm going to be using blues and greens and a hint of orange and yellow. So that's the plan. So stay tuned. I've decided to do it this way, a vertical. And I'm going to start off, and this is all cold wax here. It's very, very dry. It's been on here probably for a good two months. And nothing was, it, it, it was prepped for uh, one of my workshops and I didn't use it. So um, it looks like there's asphaltium, asphaltium on it and a blue of some type. So I don't know which blue, but I think it's all asphaltium. And I'm going to start with a brayer. want to let the background show through somewhat. And what I'll, and I'll, I will eventually also use some uh, so, uh, solvent pool to bring up the blue later. be using my bigger brake or why I'm using this little one. Only the Lord knows for sure. The green that I'm using is kind of a olive green. Uh, the name of it is Azo Green. It's made by uh, M. Graham, the foil. I don't have to have all green, but I do want green at the top, and then I'm going to be putting a lot of blues and greens on top of it. This is a sap green. One of my favorite colors. sunlight to be coming through here and then the focal area will be about right here. That's the plan anyway as of right now. You know how plans are. I will I plan on using palette knife for most of it. This is just going to be my background. And you can see how I move the paint, uh, move your eye around as I have the darks going across. I have a light coming down. Thank you. 
or stand back and look at it. I want it to be a like in a deep forest. I think this is Vasari's um, cedar. That's the co color, and it's made by Vasari. I think I'm going to do that with the brayer. Bring the sunlight in, but I'm going to put it on with the brayer, I think. those lovely effects that you can get with a brayer that you couldn't get with anything else. that. Put a little bit of blue into it, not much. seem to get the effect that I want. I'll get it. Stay with me. I'll get it. Okay, I'm screwing up now. Hey, Linda, thanks. For <laughs> and two. Excellent. Okay, I messed that up so easy enough, to, it can easily be fixed. Never despair when you mess it up. Never despair. So I'm just going to do this section over again. Oh, crap, I picked up some light green and I didn't want to do that. Maybe it will work. that I'm using right now. I 
maybe I'll put a tiny little bit of black in with that sap green. We need, always need a lot of contrast in your paintings. go back over this Take a look at that from back here. Well, I can see one thing that's not very good, and that's this shape right here. Looking at it this way, it didn't I didn't see it, but looking at it, at it from back there and in the screen. Yeah, that's better putting a little bit of Indian yellow into that. And I don't have to get it perfect now because this is just the beginning of this landscape. this now. So I'm just going to let that be. I might end up do, uh, using the uh, brayer for the whole thing. Who knows? This is where I want my focal area to be, right in here. Phthalo blue. Idea why I'm painting that blue, but I am, and I'm liking it. I, it. I just, you know, you have your gut, and if your gut says, "I wonder what it would happen if I put blue over in there," and that's what happened. That's exactly why I did it. I'm gonna have to have some blue over the other side. stand back and take a look at this. I, I have absolutely no idea, but it looks like my horizon is right there, doesn't it? The way it's looking, and I'm not planning on that, but it's almost like a horizon's there and there's a, a, a path. Can you see that? I have to measure this because I don't want it right at the middle. So it's right at 16. This is right at 16. Okay, and let's see how far it is this way. That's at 13. Or 13 and a half. So it's not in the middle. 
Maybe we could bring it down just a little bit more. I think I'm going to. Because I do not want it. I don't want this to cross it in the middle. And I don't. The middle of this would be about right here. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit further. Okay, that's where it's going to end. And this is going to be a path. I'm thinking it should be a dark blue. Maybe I'll have my highlight up there, my focal area there. But I'm liking what's happening so far. Pure phthalo blue. This is going to be the walk. I think this is making sense to you. I like this area right here where it looks like there's trees further back. I like that.
they might get covered up later, but I'm I'm, I'm liking the abstract shapes that lose you. It's a real light blue that I'm adding now. When I want to blend, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just push hard. Okay, I'm going to stop for now because it's really, really, really wet, and I am tickled. Oh, what a surprise with what how things are happening. And I'm not talking to myself, I promise. That's okay. I still I, I'm <laughs> filming. Okay. I know it sounds like it. No, I saw the camera there. One thing I don't want is a straight line going down, so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. times if I said that. Could be a stream too, couldn't it?
It could be whatever you want it to be. How's that? So you have to stop now. I'm going to stop right now. I am going to stop. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm loving what's happening. So this is going to be more in shadow, I think. And this is going to be the highlight. I'll, I'll, I, I'll finesse all of this at the end. But I do like what's happening. The only thing I see now is that this is pretty straight, isn't it? I'm going to have to bring parts, of, part of it out. I'm thinking about bringing this out further, right here, or maybe this. Does it look better? It does. I think one of these needs to come out a little bit further. that better. Okay, I'm stopping now. I'm stopping. Thanks, guys. On. I'll give you a close-up. We'll do some close-ups. I, I love the trees that are sh that showed up that I, I pulled out with my color shaper. I just took color off and that green showed up. I think it's really nice. Here you can see some close-ups. I do like it. This isn't the palette I used. I have several Three. shades of purple. I have three blues. I have um, ultramarine. I have thalo. I have kings. I have radiant blue. And then I have um, some thalo turquoise. I have two shades of purple. I have several shades of green. I have olive green by Winsor Newton. Uh, that's my favorite. Then I'm using sap green, I'm using cedar, I'm using cinnabar, and there's some green light, which I don't know if I'm going to use or not. And then up here is warm white and Indian yellow. Um, so those are my colors that I'm using, and I'm just kind of mixing them together. And the one over in the lower left uh, that was cobalt violet, and then I added a little bit of purple to it, so they so it wouldn't be uh, quite uh, so it would harmonize. And a lot of the greens I am mixing together, and the blues I'm mixing together. So the only one that I haven't used so far is I haven't used my grays, and I haven't used my black, have not used my green light. So that's my palette.